Mark the Discovery of Raman Tucker by uh, Indian physicist Sir C. B. Raman. So, for his discovery, Sir C. B. Raman was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1930. Okay. I am from 9A. I am Vasudha Sai from 9C. I am Kayan from 9A. I'm Ashish from 9. I'm Pranav from 9. Arun from 9. I'm Ranashish from 9. Pranav from 9. Ajay from 9. Sneha from 9. Lakshmi Priya Pranayasi, Karanika Shri Pranayasi, Karisha Which of the following does not contribute to the pollution in the power body? First one, A, option A, heavy metal, B, ozone, C, microplastics, and D, pesticides. Option B, ozone. That's correct answer. So name this famous Nobel Prize winner. Happy for Twice as she. So now I'm going to 
speak about Asima Chatterjee, an Indian women scientist who struggled to make her presence known to this world. The first thing I want to talk about is the aspect of science used for problem solving. Observation. When you give a scientist a scientific problem, she first observes it, looks at the previous theories on the same topic and find and analyzes how she can create her own, her own theories for the same. This method of problem solving can be used in real life as well to make better choices and decisions. The next thing that science teaches us is that nothing in the world is perfect. There is nothing as an ideal gas which obeys all the four gas laws. There is no perfectly non-viscous fluid and there is no perfectly frictionless surface. Similarly, he was a man of simplicity and integrity. When I was studying first, we got an earth-shaking news. That is on 27 July 2015, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam died during delivering a lecture to the students in Shillong by sudden cardiac arrest. He was an outstanding engineer and a pioneer scientist. He has the vision to make India a great country. He had faith on the youth, that is us. So it's our duty to make India a developed country. Thank you, Om Namah Shivaya.